Hey, it's Bill here, and I'm at Seven World Trade Center in New York City, which as we know is FXDD's headquarters, and today I'm joined by Ilan Asbel. He is the CEO of Auto Chartist. And Ilan, first of all, thanks for coming in. I do appreciate you stopping Thank you. by. And today, we're gonna to actually talk about Auto Chartist, the value of Auto Chartist, and the value of understanding how to identify chart patterns. And for those of you that are new out there and don't understand the value of a chart pattern, well, Ilan's gonna make sure that we understand it by the end of today's video. So Ilan, take it away and show us a little bit about Auto Chartist. Thanks for the opportunity, Bill. Oh, so, so yeah, so um, I'll just give you a quick overview of the Auto Charts platform. The, the primary objective of the platform is actually to identify support and resistance levels in the market. So uh, an example that we have on the screen right here is an opportunity on the New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. And we can actually see the price very clearly consolidating between support and resistance. And this is actually something which is very, very important in the markets because when there is a consolidation such as this, something is bound to happen, right? something has got to give. It's almost like there's a pressure build up in the price movement and we're either going to see a lot of downside in this instrument or we're going to see a lot of upside. So the idea is to, is to actually understand and to time uh, this opportunity to actually identify the breakout through the support and resistance levels. And through auto charters, I guess, we can identify or have a better idea of which way it's going to break. Is that fair to say? That's exactly right. So you can actually see uh, the whole idea and the premise behind support resistance is the fact that um, these levels actually represent overbought, oversold. It's where the market psychology is saying to you, you know what, at this price, this instrument is actually too expensive. Okay. But at this price, it's actually too cheap. And then it bounces back. It says that this price is actually again too expensive, and here it's too cheap. And so you get this consolidation, right? Mm -hmm. And so now the idea is to actually um, auto charts starts to identify it and tell you where it thinks the price is actually going next. So one of them is going to win. So what we're actually looking at this specific example right here is actually an example of what we call an emerging chart pattern. That means that the price has not yet broken through either support resistance, right? Okay. It's still actually trading within uh, a, a range. reasonable range, mm -hmm. correct, right? So what Auto Charles is saying to you is that given the history, the recent history of this price action, mm -hmm. the price is potentially still moving down to the support level, right? Okay. So how you want to interpret that is in many different ways. You sure. could say we can take a very short term uh, a sh a sell position or sure. short position in the market down to the support level or we stay out of the market, we keep an eye on this instrument, and we wait for a breakout, either through support or resistance. Interesting. Now, I see a lot of stuff on this screen right, right. now. And I guess these are some of the patterns that have come up, and you'll hear certain terminologies like right. triangles, or pennants, or flags, or descending or ascending triangles. Is that what we're going to see down here? Right. On the bottom, we actually have an entire list of opportunities that Auto Charters has identified. And we can actually click on any one of these opportunities to actually get a more detailed uh, um, uh, image okay. of that opportunity itself. Right? So every time we click on one of these opportunities, a different uh, chart pattern will appear. So for example, the one we have selected right here is, uh, is New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. Mm -hmm. uh, we could, for example, select the Euro CAD opportunity, the fourth one in line, and when we click on that, we're actually going to get a different graph. And I can tell you, after 22 years of being in this business, you start to learn to feel and look at charts and understand the market and feel in your, in your, in your gut when something is going to happen. And this will help us be prepared for that. Right. That's exactly it. And actually, auto chartists um, will actually identify uh, chart patterns that have already actually broken through mm -hmm. uh, support resistance uh, themselves. Uh, and if I can ask my assistant to select a, a completed uh, chart pattern um, for me to actually give you an example of that. So, for example, uh, if you can if you can click on this uh, GBP Swiss franc opportunity, uh, third from the top. Right. Okay. So now this is a very interesting example. What we have here is Auto Charts identifying a very strong support level. Mm -hmm. All right. The a Great British Pound against the Swiss franc at 150. Now, interestingly enough. This is also something very typical of support resistance. They seem to pick round numbers, right? That's, that's the market right? psychology. Exactly. That is market psychology yeah, that is 101. Pure, exactly. Yeah. That's pure market psychology. And you mm -hmm. can see round that there's consolidation at that level mm -hmm. twice, three times, a deviation from the level, again, consolidation around that level, a breakout, again, movement around that level. And now what Auto Charts is saying to us is, hey, trader, there's actually been a breakout. We think the price is actually moving down to 149.02. Right? So that's your next support level. That's your next support level, right? So we're the target level for this mm -hmm. instrument. You said you want to talk about performance statistics. So why don't we cut into the performance stats? I think it's really important for everybody to understand, you know, hey, I look at a chart pattern, but how does it perform over time? We measure the performance of our system over the last six months. Mm -hmm. And um, 
and uh, we provide a clear and transparent picture as what you should or shouldn't be trading. So let's just look at this example here now. This is a, a, a sample chart on Euro USD, mm -hmm. and uh, undoubtedly, no one can argue there's very strong resistance at uh, 1297. Uh, and all the charts has identified that. And all the charts is telling us, you know what, the price action is moving towards that line, and it thinks that the price will continue to move towards that line. So if we actually click on the performance stats uh, link at the top, right, and that was an emerging uh, key level. So if we click on the uh, key levels approaching statistics, we bring that up, and we scroll down. And we actually, um, AutoCharts provides a full breakdown of how uh, the key levels have, have uh, actually impressed. worked. All Very right? nicely done. Right. So now, uh, if we find uh, EURUSD on this list over here somewhere, uh, EURUSD, there it is on the very bottom, we see that out of 307 uh, identified uh, key levels mm -hmm. on EURUSD, 237 of them hit their forecast region, right? That's a 76% hit rate. Huh? So this is actually, if you look back at this opportunity, you're thinking, okay, now we're talking, not only is there a good visual opportunity and a good visual cue, and I can clearly see the support resistance level, right. I actually have the statistics to back it up. To back it up, of right. course. Now, as, as we can see here, it's a 76% yes. hit rate. That's pretty high. It is very high. It is very high. And actually, we have found that the uh, horizontal support resistance levels mm -hmm. actually perform a lot better than some of the trending chart patterns. Mm -hmm. So if you get, right, so if you want to trade even chart patterns and not just uh, just horizontal support resistance, you can focus on the the double tops, the double bottoms, the triple tops, and the triple bottoms. Everything, all the chart patterns that are made up of horizontal support resistance levels, we found that those are our best performers by far. So actually, let's look at that. The, the chart image we were looking at before mm -hmm. was actually based on a four-hour. Uh, uh, chart pattern, right? So what we see is that not only EURUSD has a good uh, percentage in terms of the actual instrument itself, we're looking at four hour opportunity where we have um, uh, 154 correct calls out of 213, a 72% hit rate. So again, a really, really good statistic. So we're actually seeing how the puzzle is actually fitting right. together. So you can actually now. break it down and say, okay, on the, on the very top, you just look at your USD, and then you right. start saying, okay, well, I trade in this particular interval. This is the kind of trader I am. Right. How are we doing over there as well? And if everybody, if you could see this, this is represented by minutes. Okay, yes. so if you see 240, that's obviously 240 minutes. And that will tell you, out of that 240 minute time segment, 213 total were identified, and 154 came to fruition, which is pretty high as That's well. That's exactly right. And the nice thing about these statistics is that we actually rerun them every month. Right? Okay. And that it's actually a moving six month window. So what we try to do is we try to keep the stats fresh according to current market conditions. Sure. Right? So, so these are not stats from you know five years ago or something like right. that. These are actual real stats of how the system is currently performing in current market conditions. So what else can we touch on before we wrap up today? Um, let me quickly show you actually one other thing. So um, if uh, we can click on this view analysis button on the, on the right hand side over here, Auto Charts will actually help you not only identify opportunities, but also help you in setting stop loss and take profits. Okay, so if you take an opportunity, whether it's an Auto Charts or any other technique mm -hmm. that, you, that you find in the market, and now you're saying, all right, well, where should I set my stop loss and take profit? Right, my exit levels, it's very important, right? To make money, you need to get in the market, but you also need to get out the market. Have right? a plan. Right, have a plan. Have a plan. Exactly, right? So we're saying now, okay, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to work in a few hours. I don't want to hold this trade for more than four hours. Order Charter tells you, you know, for uh, a pound Swiss franc at uh, 3.30 New York time, uh, if you want to exit be, uh, within the next four hours, don't set your stop loss or take profit over or below 14978 and 15. So right? it kind of gives you indicative levels of where they expect the past price action to take the future price That's action. exactly right. So, so that's very, very important. Not only your entry strategy based on support resistance, but also your exit strategy. It's very, very critical. That's very interesting. There's a lot inside. Obviously, we've touched, we've scratched the surface of what's going on inside auto charts. There seems to be a lot more to it. And I think we're actually going to be posting 11 or 12 maybe tutorial videos that we have actually for auto charters. So we want to just today give you the introduction and let Elon take us through that. So once again, I think we'll wrap up with that. And Elon, thank you very much for coming in. And uh, everybody, don't forget, go to fxdd.com or go to uh, YouTube and go to the FXDD channel for more on auto charters. Have a great day and best of luck in your trading. Goodbye now.